She's a woman in a predominantly male environment. But that's not something that appears to face Sierra Leone FA president Aisha Johansson, one of only two women to head a national football association. Johansson was in Johannesburg for the FIFA CAF governance seminar. And that's a subject she knows more about than most, given the infighting within Sierra Leone's football circles that followed her appointment last year. She's just delighted that eight months on, those issues appear to be behind her. It's been challenging and an uphill struggle, um, but I, I guess in life sometimes um, starts like this, the bumpy starts, is, is very good um, because it's, it's been a, a learning process for me. So um, I, I, I would like to say that uh, perhaps that the, the worst is over and, and we're looking uh, forward to a, a good and healthier football relationship. Johansson was last in South Africa for the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations, a tournament the Sierra Leone national team have failed to reach for almost 20 years. But she hopes that run will soon end and that Sierra Leone will line up in Morocco next year. We're going to have to be very realistic. Like I said, it's about putting the structures in place. We were almost there with the last African nations, um, almost. That is not to say that we will qualify this time around, but uh, I think that we're up to it. The players are up for it. Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone wants to go forward. We're going to give it our best shot. If we don't qualify, I can assure you that we'll be in a much better position to do so next time around. And that for Johansson is key. Her target is a long-term one as she looks to implement new development structures in Sierra Leone. She wants every child, male or female, to be playing football as part of the school curriculum. And then she wants a more scientific talent identification program and better support structures in order to nurture that talent. I came into football developing uh, uh, youth players. I have a, a Premier League side which started off as a humanitarian project uh, with nine, ten-year-olds and now they're just a joy and pride to, to watch them competing in the Premier League and also even in the, in the national side. This is our, going to be our focus, starting from scratch, grassroots programs, um, youth development programs and uh, not, not least um, the female football side. Johansson has already proven that she's not afraid to take on those who stand in her way. And with her leadership struggle settled, her goal now is to bring about success for Sierra Leone on the pitch, a hope that includes both men and women. Dan Williams, CCTV, Johannesburg.